Hello. Lovely people. I hope you're having an amazing day. Let's see what the Divine Masculine is thinking about the Divine Feminine. Okay. <laughs> this is very interesting. So we have uh, some people are going to be getting out of uh, prison. Okay, that's for a small portion. That's not, you know, for everyone. This is for probably one person. Um, but I feel that some divine masculines who've had you in hangman mode, specifically air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Divine Masculines, they will be contacting you. These are people who have had you in hang mode for possibly years. They will be coming back over the next five or six days to make things right with you. Um, their, po their attitude will be very positive. Like I say, they could have had you on hold for years they'll be coming back in they're coming in to bring you justice and some of them are getting out of jail and or prison um, this weekend and this could also represent you know people who haven't talked to you in a long time that's what I'm saying like they're coming in I do see water sign divine feminines manifesting their masculine as well. Um, especially if you're dating a fire sign, I feel like you have been, you know, worried over the past few days, possibly, you know, the past two weeks. Um, but these uh, fire sign divine masculines are headed home. You'll be getting a phone call within the next eight hours. I also see um, water sign divine masculines calling as well for a new beginning. Uh, they're going to be coming back around and making you happy here. Okay, I see earth sign coming uh, earth signs coming around. And the strength card is here. The betrayal in reverse. So someone betrayed you. They came in and out of your life uh, just recently. And I feel like they want to make it right, but there was an there was an argument um and he went missing. Okay. He was in hangman mode. Yeah, but he's also coming back. So it looks like most of the signs will be contacting you over the next couple of days. <laughs> 
it looks like uh, these water sign divine feminines are going in on the masculine. So you could be a water sign divine feminine or you have water in your chart. And it, it's like, uh, you know, this full moon that we recently had is bringing a lot of clarity for the divine feminine, especially if you have water in your chart. It's like you can see things very clearly. Um, you possibly, you know, it's just everything is, is clear for you. You probably um, are psychic too. For some of you, not all of you. Um, Now, I do see someone coming back to make it right um, with you, but I feel like there's going to be some conflict here because I have the five of swords. However, I see it working out, you know, but with the five of swords being here, it's kind of like saying pick and choose your battles here. Um, who's going to be the bigger person? You know, which one of you is going to keep it going with the argument? Because I feel like it is going to work out. I do feel like there are some masculines who are trying to choose. They're trying to see how can they get rid of the drama. Um, which road is the right road to take? Some of them feel afraid to walk away from the karmic here. They also feel like everything that um, they have done or said is going to be exposed. <laughs> now, baby, let me tell you, this high priestess here, this divine feminine with the high priestess card here, she has a ball on her head. And that crystal ball that's on her head, it, it's not really, it's a crystal ball in the picture, but it's, it's symbolic of she knows what's going on already. And this is specifically pertaining to an air sign divine masculine. So if you are an air sign divine masculine and you're tuning in, your divine feminine is highly spiritual and she can see right through you. And I feel like um, some air sign divine masculine just got exposed about his cheating ways. I feel like um, he got caught up somehow here. Uh, I still see him coming forward and telling you, you know, trying to bring some type of clarity to the situation. Yeah, he's going to tell you that he wants to be a family with you. You know, regardless of whatever's taking place. And I feel like this divine feminine is saying, you know, I've had time to think about this. And I'm definitely not blind to the situation. Like, I know what's going on. So, if you hang that situation up, or... It's over. You want justice. <laughs> it's like saying, you know, The Divine Feminine is using her wisdom on this masculine here.
Wow. My goodness. Yeah, so basically it's going back to what I was saying. Okay, yeah, they uh, have shut you out for a long time or they've been acting very, very distant for a long time. And now, this weekend, um, starting today for some of you, um, but definitely by Saturday, they're going to be calling, coming in, calling you and trying to make things right and trying to be there for you. So that's a wonderful news. Okay. Now let's pull a card from this Moonology deck. Okay, so it's saying work through your fears. Um, this other card is saying um, it's time to release negativity. Adjustments are required and then your dreams need a practical plan. So when they do come back, you know, if they want to be with you and all this other kind of stuff, you, you tell them, look, show me. Show me that you want to be with me. You know, you could tell them I'm not holding you to the past. However, just show me something different. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I feel like they have seen you grow throughout this journey and, there are some of them that are going to make the effort. They're going to put in a lot of effort and they are going to show you what you want to see. Because I have the King of Pentacles here and he's holding a cake in his hand and some wine. And he also has um, some money in the background. So I feel like he's been saving money or he's going to show you some type of action. Okay. Okay. On how you and him are going to move forward. Yeah. They're coming to put in action. I feel like um, go with the flow, Divine Feminine, because I just see some of you are, you know, thinking of like the worst case scenario here. And I don't think it's going to turn out that way. I think it's going to actually turn out good if you let it. Because I have the Ten of Cups here. Okay. Have a fantastic day, lovelies.